Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Mario Party 6 board playthroughs. Uh, for today, we're actually going to be doing Mic Mode. Mic Mode is a small little uh, place you can go to to play some unique mic minigames. Brighton is the MC of Mic Mode. And he wants to know if we want a tutorial on the mic. So no, we don't need to hear a stinking tutorial about it. Anyways, there are three different modes inside of mic mode. You have Speak Up, Star Sprint, and the mic minigames of the game. I am not going to be covering Speak Up because you actually need two players to play. Um, technically, you can just put in a second controller and, you know, just, you know, play as both individuals. It's not really something you have to control at the same time. But, that's gonna be really boring, and it's also a very, very, very long game. And it just doesn't seem like it would be very fun with just one person, so I am not going to cover this. However, if somewhere down the line I can find someone who would maybe want to do this with me, keep in mind it has to be someone in person. I, I'm not gonna do this over a GameCube emulator or anything. Uh, but yeah, if somewhere down the line, if I find someone who may want to do this with me, then... You know, I can have a section where we do this, but for now, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, the first thing I am going to do is mic minigames. I'll go over uh, Star Sprint later on. But these are basically all the mic minigames you can get in the game. And uh, I don't know why I have two players in right now. Oh, right, I was playing... Uh, I was actually playing Melee with someone the other day. Kind of surprising. I never thought I would actually play Melee again. But yeah, remember, Mike minigames are all one versus three, and you have a chance to get all five of them inside of the party mode. I was only able to get one of them, though. I was only able to play, actually, the last one, uh, Fruit Talktail. Uh, for anyone interested in seeing me playing this game, I believe I did this game in part five of my Clockwork Castle playthrough, so if you want to see this game, you just have to go to that point. Uh, video to watch it. I'm not going to film it again. I have very limited time as it is. But the first game we have is Verbal Assault. I am, of course, going to be the mic person. It wouldn't be very fun if I was the team of three, if you ask me. Okay, so Verbal Assault. One player commands a heavily armed battlecraft. The other three have to destroy it. And you can speak into the mic and you have a few commands you can do. Uh, fire, which activates these burners you have on the front of your machine. Um, you can shoot missiles. You can drop bombs on your opponents. And you can also fire a twin laser. So that is a bunch of the different things you can do in this game. And basically, the other players are trying to destroy the machine, but you have to destroy them before um, they destroy you. Alright, so let's play. First, we're going to drop bombs! Wait, that's not a bomb. Drop bombs! That's missiles! Okay, no, that's missiles. Drop bombs! Okay, there's the bombs. I'm not sure why I fired the bullet bill. Goombas! Um, okay, I've never seen this before. Uh, laser! Laser! Laser. Um, fire. Uh, missiles. Missiles. Laser. Um, drop bombs. Goombas! Okay, I, th I didn't know about that Goomba thing. Uh, drop bombs. Don't- no, don't throw Goombas again. Drop bombs. Drop bombs. Uh, drop bombs. Missiles! Okay, there we go. Thank God. I'm actually surprised I didn't die there. It took a lot longer than I thought, but thankfully I'm only playing four minigames here. 
Okay, so that was Verbal Assault. It's very fun. And apparently there are some hidden controls as well, so... Didn't really know about the Goomba thing. That might be one of the mic secrets you can actually unlock in uh, the Star Bank. I'll talk about those later. Okay, for next we have Shoot Your Mouth Off. Which is kind of similar to the game we just played. Although there is a time limit this time. And one player gives attack orders to Shy Guys while the other three avoid a bombardment of bob -ombs and Bullet Bills. And then you just say a number from 1 to 9, and then the other players move. That's really all you do. Now you're going to want to get kind of creative with the way you play this minigame if you're the mic person. Um, 8, 7, 4. 8, 7, 4. 8, 7, 4. Uh, 9, 6, 4. Uh, 5, 6, we have six, four, nine. Okay, uh, nine. I mean, four. Okay, wait. Seven. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, you're basically trying to find different combinations that will eliminate the players. Uh, you can trap them in some instances, like I did with Wario and the bob Bomb at that one point. But it can also be kind of difficult because as the pl uh, pl people who are, you know, wandering around the field, you kind of get an idea of where the attacks are going to come from. And then, of course, the computer players are programmed to avoid certain things as well. Okay, next we have perhaps... I really don't want to say this is the hardest of the Mike minigames, but this one is pretty difficult. Talkie Walkie. Okay, one player speaks commands and to reach the goal, the other three will try to hit them with a spiny. Uh, Mario says either forward, move back, right or left, and then the other players just move their cursor and then fire. So this one can be kind of tricky because the computer players or the Go. team of three, uh, right, 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 left, up, Forward, right, forward, forward, move back. Ah, oh, damn it, didn't move back in time. Anyways, the team of three can kind of trap you very easily. And the timing of the mic is a little awkward. So you basically want to stay away from the cursors as much as possible. Uh, I probably shouldn't have tried to move past them. Staying back probably would have worked for me until they actually, you know, moved on the space I was on. But that is Talkie Walkie. It's a very unique minigame, but it can also be kind of difficult as well. Next, we have Word Heard. Uh, this is perhaps my least favorite of the Mike minigames, just because it's kind of hard to move what you're trying to move around. Uh, one player shouts orders to herd the Goombas away from the other players. Who will try to punch them out of the corral? Uh, you say either up, down, right, left, and then you can use scramble to, you know, make them separate. And then the other players just move around and punch. And I know there is a secret mic command for this minigame involving the monkeys that are in the background. I might show that off uh, during the playthrough of this minigame. Um, up. Up. Down. Down. Left. I mean right. 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 Get away from there. Right. 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 Up. Up. You kiki! Down. Down. Right. Right. Left. 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 Oh wow, I actually won. Uh, the monkey command didn't actually work the way I thought it did. Um, I might try to show that off later on, so don't worry. I will show that off. Just n I'm not going to be able to in this video. Uh, but yeah, that really about does it for the Mike minigames. 
Next, we're going to do a fun game called Star Sprint. Star Sprint is basically, I'm trying to find a way to describe this, but you take your character across these levels and you have to use voice recognition commands to actually get them across these levels. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use Toad, then Yoshi, um, Boo, and eh, Koopa Kid, I guess. So yeah, it looks like Koopa Kid will be used in this uh, playthrough after all, in the extra videos. So, hooray for Koopa Kid returning, hooray! Okay, um, so there are three courses, uh, Meadow Road, Dark Path, and Magma Flow. Uh, you have to unlock Magma Flow through the Star Bank, and I believe you can purchase it for 50 stars. But first we're going to do Meadow Road, so let's get ready for some voice recognition fun, if you could even call it that. <laughs> 